Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all, what's going on right now in your current situation, you, the person on your mind, if any, and what do you need to know. So whenever you do see this will be the right time. As always, take what resonates, leave out the rest. If you are interested in a personal reading done by myself or my sponsor, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. And follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. All right. Wow. So, Aquarius, you have a past life relationship um, entering your life. You have known each other before in past lives. Could be a Leo Aries or a Sagittarius. Whoever this person is, they are very, very attractive. And they're coming in with all of this like fiery, energy driven, passionate, flirtatious, fun, but also serious, serious energy. I do feel like there's a certain situation where conflict or drama is, is resolving itself. You've been through battles and a lot of inner battles as well um, with maybe your, your passion, what, what you feel driven towards what you're attracted to and you've been keeping this to yourself or being very silent I do feel like you've been observing a lot and there's certain things that you know are coming you know a, a relationship or someone who you're meant to be with is coming into your life it's like you know that but you're not rushing into anything I also see your your healing so there is something that I feel like you've had to uh, release. So getting over the this like sense of grief or loss or regrets or guilt over, over situations or, that had brought you out of character, situations where you reacted maybe too quickly or I'm seeing communication that maybe you you're now looking back at like I could have worded things differently or I could have done something differently but now you're changing and I see you entering like this new lifestyle or learning from a higher power or even like a guru a teacher making some sort of commitment to yourself to do something differently okay and I do feel like Someone around you, whoever this person from your past life, I feel like they've been chasing the wrong thing. You can see this person has been like trying to get to this pot of gold and then a fairy is like holding them back. So it's like the reason why you haven't met them earlier is because of that. But whoever this person is, they want to make an effort towards you. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So somebody is coming in wanting to uh, put in the, the work, proof to you that they want you and that they're serious. And I'm seeing right now, it feels like there's just delays. You're wanting to move quickly or you're wanting something to move faster. It's like you're wanting something to have had happened yesterday. But I definitely feel like you're being held back for a reason or there's like delays for a reason so that this can come together uh, smoothly. I feel like you have been reactive or impulsive in the past and now you're trying not to be as impulsive. I'm seeing a gathering with like friends or, or family soul your soul tribe or you're even dating wanting to date and but not wanting to rush into anything even though you really want to it's like you're you're holding yourself back from moving too fast is what i'm hearing so 
past situations have moved very fast and you may have regretted it and now you're doing things differently maybe more traditionally now you're taking it slow or wanting to take it slow i'm hearing not for long though <laughs> it it's moving slow right now but i do see things speeding up seeing travel communication something coming in for you so get ready to receive eight is number of abundance this person has a lot of um, love or passion in abundance to give you. So get ready. Get ready to receive. They're very motivated. They're very motivated to, to move things to the next level. We literally have wedding here. This situation involves marriage. This person is thinking about marrying you. This person is thinking about um, a future with you. And for some of you who haven't met this person yet, but they're coming in, but they want that with you. They want a commitment. Strong masculine energy. They're also emotionally available. They're also very caring and emotional and sensitive. Uh, maybe some of you, there's distance involved because I am picking up on distance or someone just likes to travel a lot. You like to travel a lot or this person likes to travel a lot. Uh, but again, it's like, I do feel like maybe there's um, a move regarding home, a new moving to a new home. Maybe you're moving to a new home. Okay. Communication about, communication about some sort of like journey or travel is coming in. I do see you wanting to bring clarity, some level of clarity about a home situation or even a family situation. And this person wants to come towards you emotional. They want to show you love. They want to give you love. And they want to also bring you something stable. Okay, but there's still something that I see is closing up here. So we do have the death card, like a dead end situation that is coming to an end first regarding maybe a home or a family situation that is um, changing. The drama, the battles, the competition, the comparisons to other people, this is coming to an end. And you're gonna be very happy about it. Wow, heartbreak is coming to an end. I'm seeing keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So whoever this person is coming towards you, they're going to make you very happy, but they're going to be different. I'm hearing like either they're like culturally different. Uh, maybe they're like a different culture than you. Something about this person is very different from you or the way that like you grew up compared to how they grew up. Something about them is is um, not like your typical person. I am picking up maybe like I'm picking up on someone who's like dark hair, dark features, maybe even a darker complexion compared to you. But it's going to be a wish fulfillment. But I definitely see uh, a decision. So some of you are going back and forth with a decision right now. Should I stay or should I go? And regarding like a home situation or family situation, there's a lot of healing coming in, renewal coming in. Oh my gosh, we have the queen and the king of wants this is a true match true pair this person even though you're different you're very alike at the same time on the inside you're coming to together with your soulmate 
with a star. It's it's guided. It's faded. It's a wish come true. You have a wish come true. So a situation that has come to a dead end is literally a blessing in disguise for you because it was a struggle to begin with and your struggle and heartbreak and disappointment, it's coming to an end now. Whoever this person is, they're going to... They are going to be changing your life in a way you didn't think was possible. Or you're going to be happy to a point where you didn't even think it was possible. Be grateful for the situations that have hit stalemates or have come to an end or rejection. Be grateful for that because you're just being redirected towards something better. Whatever didn't work out is just leading you towards something better. Whoever this person is, like they're serious and they want a commitment they want you and they're gonna make it very very crystal clear with you but i see you needing to keep an open mind about this what else things are about to get intense but in a good way new love yeah didn't I say a new person has stirred your romantic feelings? You're entering a new situation, new love, a new relationship with um, someone who you've had a past life with. So one door is closing, but another door is opening. And I wouldn't be surprised if this new person entering your life, if it leads to marriage, a wedding, a long-term relationship, strong contracts, strong uh, strong bonds towards each other like oh my gosh guys engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of engagement or commitment sorry your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment didn't i say something better is coming something better is coming some of you are in a situation where there's just conflict disagreements fighting uh, reckless behavior and that is all ending and if this is a work situation I see a change of job your job is going to change because whatever work situation you were in there was drama it was a, there was conflict a lot of competition and you've been putting in the effort and you haven't seen anything come out of it it is Spirit is calling someone else. Let go of a situation that is uh, just hitting a dead end. Some of you have been working at something and knowing that it's just a dead end. And Spirit is saying, just like let that go. Whether it's work, a job that you hate, or something that you're um, giving to. So are you nurturing flowers or are you nurturing weeds? Things are going to change. Things are meant to change so you can have better. I'm seeing the number five. We have 13 to the letter F, P, R, M, E, K, O, N, L, and W, and D. So those numbers, they could be birthdays. The letters could be either in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.